Here we're going to talk about properties, methods, and events. When we're building classes, we have functions, we've got variables. When you create an object from that class, when you instantiate the class and actually have an object, the variables are known as properties. The functions are known as methods. So in here, the only function we have is the constructor function, cog. So we would say new cog to create one of these things. If we wanted to create a property, we just create a variable. So let's say private var speed, we'll declare it as a number, and that's going to be equal to, let's set it equal to three. This is going to be the speed that our cog rotates at. So that will be a property of every single cog that we create. For methods, we create a function. So public function, let's call it spin. And it's going to return nothing. This function will make the cog spin. Alright, so we'll take whatever our current rotation is. Because this is extending movie clip, there is a rotation property that belongs to all movie clips that our cog automatically gets. So we'll say that this rotation is equal to this rotation plus our speed. And there we go. So whenever this method spin gets called, it will change the rotation of the cog by three degrees. Up here at the top we used three as our value so that is going to be how quickly it spins. Now we need to trigger this. This is where events come in and more importantly event listeners. Now I've already written one in here. Using the keyword this refers to our class or our, or our object. So the cog is having an event listener added and this is the name of the event that we're adding. And this is the function that we're going to call when this event happens. Because this is an object, this is a class of its own in ActionScript, we have to import it. It's not already there by default, like numbers and arrays. This is something that we have to actually import. So up here at the top, we're going to say import flash dot events dot event the enter frame event exists inside of the event class this right here notice it's all in capitals all in capitals means that this is a constant a constant is just like a variable except that the value never changes so let me write that down here enter frame is a constant. Constants are like variables whose value never changes. Important to know that. So enter frame. What is the enter frame event? Well in Flash, as you know, we have a timeline. There is a timeline that occurs as we animate through this. Right, my timeline up here so you can see it. Here's our timeline. As the timeline progresses, what we're doing is we're moving from one frame to the next, to the next, to the next. Even if there's only one frame, the animation is still looping. And it's going frame one, frame one, frame one, frame one, frame one, whatever your frame rate is. For me, it's 24 frames per second. So the enter frame event is going to occur 24 times per second back into our code here. Move this out of the way. So every time that enter frame event happens, 24 times a second, this spin function is going to be called. Now because this event listener is causing this to run, it's going to pass in an event. So we have to make sure that we have a variable here ready to capture that event. So the EV variable is data typed as an event. The event is being passed in. Later on we'll actually use this to determine which event 
and which object made the event occur. But for now, we're just going to leave it as this. So all cogs now have a speed. All cogs now have an event listener that fires on the enter frame event to call the spin function. Back in our document class, we added two cogs to the stage. So if we run this now, there we go. Two cogs randomly placed on the stage are both spinning at the exact same speed.